Greetings once again. I'm James Hackley, author of the best-selling book, Body, Mind, and Spirit, The Awakening, and welcome to Day 11. Day 11, we start talking about your mind. Uh, days 1 through 10, we're all about controlling the body, but Day 10, uh, Day 11, it's all about the mind. And uh, the, chat, the title of uh, Day 11 is, We Are What We Think. In the book of Proverbs, uh, chapter 23, verse 7, it tells us that, As a man thinketh, so is he. In other words, we are what we thought. Now, I know a lot of you are saying that, hey, I can't help the thoughts that come in my mind. I'm only human. And that's true. We can't help the thoughts. Thoughts sometimes that just race through our minds. But what we can do, we can uh, uh, resist the temptation to keep just uh, churning those thoughts in our mind. Because the more we churn, the more we think about those thoughts, the more we entertain uh, temptation, the more likely we are to act on them. As a matter of fact, uh, Martin Luther uh, the leader of the uh, Protestant reform movement, he said uh, that, hey, we can't control the birds that fly over our head, but we can stop them from building a nest in our hair. And that's a very, very profound thought. So when it comes to thoughts, what do we do? Uh, the number one thing is that when we start to get thoughts in our mind that we know that are counterproductive, uh, what I've learned to do is to, to speak against it. You know, we've gotten in the habit of thinking that we can multitask and do multiple things at one single instance. But the truth of the matter is we can't do it. We weren't designed like that. So if I start to have thoughts about, hey, you know, I want to do something and do this, do that, do that. And I know that I really don't want to do it. Or I know I shouldn't be doing it. Then I'll just speak against it. Like, hey, I'm not going to go to Cheesecake Factory and eat uh, five different uh, types of cheesecake today. I will speak against it if those thoughts come into my mind. Uh, and, and other thoughts as well. It works whatever you're trying to do. If you're having temptations of certain certain things to eat or certain things to do, I encourage you just to speak out against it. Don't speak it in your mind. Speak it out in the atmosphere that you will not do it. And the more you begin to do that, you will begin to arrest those thoughts that come into your mind. Now, when it comes to the brain, if we look at the brain itself, the brain is like hardware and our mind is the software Try as you might, you can't open up the brain and see the mind. The mind is an intangible thing. And as a matter of fact, there's a dualist movement out there that says that the mind, as we know it, is not contained wholly in the brain. The mind is from the tips of our toes to the tops of our feet, on top of our head. And there's some, some, some scientific evidence that uh, states that. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll talk about that more uh, when you read the book about uh, where the mind is, is really contained. But... Uh, the most important thing about the day 11 is just controlling the mind, realizing that we are what we think, and to realize also that we have to think before our actions. Uh, a little known fact, some people who read the Bible, they don't uh, glance over the fact that God actually thought before he do, did things as well. Yes, God in his power, when he spoke it, it happened. But he, there are several references where God actually thought about doing something before he actually did it. So if we're to be like God, if we're to be God-like creatures, then we have to start thinking about our actions. Because once we say something or once we do something, um, you know that sometimes it can't be undone. So once again, I encourage you to visit us at www.jamesackley.com. And as always, I encourage you to, to send me an email to let me know how your journey is progressing. The email can be sent to info at jamesackley.com. God bless.